we have been studying refraction and we have seen the laws of refraction now we have been given a problem which is not apparently related to refraction but still it's a life and death situation so let us deal with that first so imagine yourself on a beach and here is a swimmer in water who needs immediate help and the lifeguard right now is near his cabin over here so he needs to find the quickest path to reach the swimmer the shortest path would have been a straight line like this but in this scenario a straight line path would not work let us see why here is the situation shown schematically here the lifeguard needs to find the best point of entry on the shoreline where he can dive in water and swim to the swimmer in the quickest possible way so we will take this segment of the shoreline and for every point on this segment we will be finding two times number one time required to run to that point and then time required to swim from that point to the swimmer the sum of these two points will help us evaluate the best point of entry on the shoreline so let us start by drawing these concentric circles around the lifeguard's position these circles indicate uh, the time required to reach them for example to reach this circle the lifeguard will have to run 3 seconds and to reach this circle he will have to run 10 seconds and so on then we will be taking the points of intersection of these circles with the shoreline so here is the intersection of the 14 second circles with the shoreline so this point on the shoreline will take 14 seconds of running and so on let us mark similar circles in water and mind you these circles will be little crowded together because on sand one can run more in one second than one can swim in water and similarly we will be getting uh, these intersection points with the shoreline then let us connect the two with a straight line this is the running distance and this is the swimming distance let us see where this line intersects the shoreline the running time will be 19 and half seconds and the swimming time would be 54 and half seconds so together it will give us 74 seconds for the entire trip now imagine the lifeguard decides not to run in a straight line but to dive into water a little to the left say around this point then he will have to swim for 50 seconds and run for 23 and half seconds so together it is 73 and a half second so we have shaved off half a second by deviating from this straight line path so how does that happen to understand that let us consider this deviated path so here is the increase in running distance delta dr and reduction in swimming distance delta ds and that happened because we shifted to the left by this distance delta x you would realize that this angle let's call it i is same as that angle or very close to it similarly this angle r is pretty close to that angle over here for a very small deviation this is nearly a right angle triangle so we can write these two relationships the time we will save in swimming would be this reduction in swimming distance divided by the speed vs of swimming if that saving in time is more than the extra time we would run then it is worth shifting and we do that till these two times become equal so the saving in swimming time is equal to the addition into the running time and then there is no point shifting so this is the condition to indicate the optimum point of entry let us substitute from these expressions so we will get this this delta x cancels from both sides and if we shift term we get sine i upon sine r is equal to velocity of running divided by velocity of swimming indeed it is snail's law so like the lifeguard light too travels along the path of shortest time this is called Fermat's principle to confirm here is a parametric model watch this swimming and running distances and the swimming and running times change and this total time is our minimizing goal so we will shift this 
to the left and you would see this time is changing you will keep shifting it till a point where it becomes the minimum in fact I know the solution so I will change this running distance to 40 and the total time becomes 15 the minimum